These aren't as big as uh, regular jackfruits. They're, they're smaller, they're easy peel. The taste and the smell are amazing. I have another seedling of a Boca Champa Doc. Now this one, I had to cut because it was gonna get in the way of the wires up there. Really cool, this is a seedling. It's Zane's, Zane's World Soft from Zane's World. I'm so impressed with the China Jackfruit. I just had another one growing in a pot and I just put it in the ground. I put a Bangkok lemon in the ground here. That tree is a black gold. At a local international market and I got a really good jackfruit. So I put it there and it's on water and it's growing really well. Jackfruit's supposedly a good tree to put up front because a lot of people, at least in this area, don't know what it is. So they're not going to be taking it as opposed to having a mango tree up front. This here is a Cochan, a Cochan. And this I hear great things about. You guessed it, another China jackfruit. This is a Bangkok lemon jackfruit, loaded, loaded, Bangkok lemon. Hello everybody, welcome to Fruitful Trees. Now I have a lot of different types of fruit trees here in my tropical forest. And for me, it's important to have a good variety of fruits and also vegetables. I grow foods as well, uh, vegetables as well. Uh, but there's some fruits that I have more of than others, obviously, and I love the different fruits and the different varieties. Now, when I'm getting planning on planning which trees I'm going to plant, I want to spread out the season so I get something throughout the year, something throughout the different seasons. But summertime, obviously, is the real time where a lot of fruits harvest and you get the most of the most of everything. The winter time might be limited to sapodillas, star fruit, and a few other things, and and that's okay. I'm not, certainly not complaining. But in the summertime, it seems like everything's here. We have white sapote. I have several varieties. I have five varieties of white sapote. We have mames that come in towards the spring and summer. And we have mangoes, of course. I just did a video about that yesterday, and I posted it. We have so many different fruits in the summertime. And in South Florida, the fruit is just amazing here. There's so much fruit on all the trees. Today, I'm going to be talking about one of my favorite fruits, it's jackfruit and growing jackfruit. Now, jackfruit is something you might think, why do I need to grow a jackfruit? Because you can buy them so available today in the store. Everything from Whole Foods to your local international market will sell jackfruit, and they're not that expensive. What I have found, though, just like with everything, is the quality of what you're getting is not up to par when you get something from the store. And with jackfruit, unfortunately, it's come to a point where it's almost like watermelon. I like my watermelon with seeds. I can't even find watermelon with seeds anymore. And when it comes to jackfruit, I like to eat ripe jackfruit, tree-ripened jackfruit. And it seems like it's almost impossible to find these days because people use jackfruit as a substitute and uh, for pork or something like that and they uh, for pulled pork and basically they're harvesting it off the tree unripe so people can use it unripe so even the stores i do see them selling jackfruit very rarely is it tree ripened and if you don't get tree ripened jackfruit it's pretty much a waste there's nothing good about it so i decided i was going to plant a uh, jackfruit and i wanted to have good varieties now there's one major season for jackfruit uh, sometimes you might get uh, some off-season jackfruit, but I want to show you the jackfruits I have and what I have found the best. If you're going to decide to grow jackfruit, hopefully this video will help you. I'll also look at my neighbor's yard and show you what he's growing over there and talk about some of the changes I've made uh, over time. Now, with jackfruit in general, there's uh, two varieties. There's, there's soft varieties and there's hard varieties or two kinds of varieties. There's soft and there's hard. Most people like the hard variety. And what that means, like some people call it crunchy, is when you harvest it and you eat it, it kind of has a crunch to it and it's a, a firm consistency. And then there's a the soft jackfruit. And the soft jackfruit is it literally can fall apart in your hand. And like I said, most people prefer the harder ones. I prefer the softer ones, but I certainly love a good ripe hard one as well. And the other thing to consider is some jackfruits are really difficult to, to, to cut open because they get really sticky with latex and the peel is really hard to peel off and it's a big mess. And for me, this is something that I didn't think about in the past, but when I'm planting jackfruit trees now, or if I wasn't a future, I would consider, is that an easy peel jackfruit or not? 
I don't want a jackfruit uh, that's not easy peel uh, for the most part. And we're going to talk about that today. So normally I'll start off with the ones I like the least and work up to the best. But today we're going to start off with my best. Absolutely. Best tree, best fruit. This is amazing. It's a variety of jackfruit called a ch uh, china jackfruit. And what china is, it's a combination of a fruit called champadak, which is very similar to a jackfruit, but it's much softer and it's easy peel. And it's very similar, but it's different. And as far as I know, there's no one growing pure champadak here in South Florida or in the United States, maybe in Hawaii and Puerto Rico, they will. But uh, they sell a hybrid of a jackfruit and a champadak. And that would be a china or a chine. Now, there are many different... China means just hybrid or a hybrid of a of, of the jackfruit champadoc. So some of these might have the word champadoc in the name, but they're still going to be a hybrid as far as my knowledge like, from what I understand with this. Now, we're going to look at my china here. So this is my china jackfruit that I have growing on here. And as you can see, it's not too tall. I cut it last year uh, and because it was getting taller. But I'm going to let it grow taller now because... The fruit's absolutely so amazing, and I want to get as much of this as possible. And there are a good amount of male flowers on this tree this year. Last year, I got seven fruits from this tree, and it was the second year that I fruited, and it was spectacular. These aren't as big as uh, regular jackfruits. They're, they're smaller. They're easy peel. The taste and the smell are amazing. There's two, three. And then at the bottom here, there's a really big one there that's coming. And there's four, five, here's six, seven. It looks like another one. So it looks like it's gonna be a good year uh, for these fruits. And if, so there's some male flowers. And when you see male flowers, female flowers are not too far behind. And it's not in the best spot in my yard in terms of walking wise, but it'll grow into it. <laughs> So as I walk around the tree, I must have 10 or 15 jackfruits on there. And that's really exciting. And I'm not going to plan on cutting it back this year. But that's my number one recommended fruit tree. If you're going to grow a fruit tree in South Florida and you're looking for jackfruit, it's called China or Chine, pronounced these different ways. And it will get big. It's not big at the moment. Now, if we come here, this tree is called a Boca Champa Duck. And it was just as big as the tree I just showed you. But I had a problem. The first year, the fruit on this was small. It was easy peel. It was excellent. And this was a grafted tree, from my understanding. And it was, it was great. But the fruit was small and easy peel. I was so impressed with it, I took the seeds. It was before my china harvest did it all, and I had any on there. I took the seeds from this tree, and I planted them all around the yard. And I got a couple of seedlings I'll show you. No fruit on the seedlings yet, but this that's how impressed I was. But last year, it was very interesting. The first year, I got two or three fruits. And last year, I got seven or eight fruits, but they were all humongous and hard to peel and tasted not too well. So I don't know what happened. I just decided to cut back the tree, let it grow again, and see what will happen. But that is Boca Champadoc. Okay. If you turn around here, this is a seedling of my Boca Champadoc right here. And on my seedling, I'm just seeing now for the first time a male flower. That's exciting. So I got a male flower on this seedling of Boca Champadoc. So that's uh, my jackfruit situation here. This is another seedling of a Boca Champadoc. Now, I originally had a jackfruit here that I told was told was an orange crush or something. And it never bared fruit. For a long time, it grew really tall and never bared fruit. So I ended up cutting it out and putting in this seedling here that's growing really nicely. No 
Nothing on there yet, but that's a seedling of a Boca Champa duck. Coming back here, I have another seedling of a Boca Champa duck. Now this one, I had to cut because it was going to get in the way of the wires up there. So this seedling plant at the same time as the other seedlings really took off. Uh, so it's been about two years now since the seedling. And that's a Boca Chompadoc seedling. We'll see how it does, but I had to cut the top because it took off. Now here, this one is really interesting. It's in a pot. This is Zane's Soft. No, no. Sorry. It's this one. It's this one. It's in a pot, and it's it says Paul's favorite on there. Really cool. This is a seedling. It's Zane's, Zane's World Soft from Zane's World. I'll put a link below to that nursery. Ask him for Zane's World, uh, World Soft or Paul's favorite. I'm Paul. And this one I was able to get a graft of the seedling he had that was absolutely soft peel, tasted great, and I was glad to get a seedling of that. Now, I'm so impressed with the china jackfruit. I just had another one growing in a pot, and I just put it in the ground. It was getting really big in a pot. I just put it in the ground, grave at this spot, so that's going to grow really well. One thing I like about jackfruit is also you could freeze jackfruit. So that's really nice that you could freeze it. Now, those of you that watch this channel have seen in the past my situation with this jackfruit here. Somehow I was going to buy a, a jackfruit that was supposed to be a black gold, but it ended up being a seedling. That's this here. And it was way too soft. It was sweet, but way too soft. And the tree was loaded. I must have had 20 on there last year. The tree was loaded, but and the big fruit, but I wasn't impressed because it was too difficult to peel and too soft. So I decided I was going to cut back that tree and maybe graft uh, another one on here. And I'm going to show you my neighbor's tree of his Bangkok lemon. And I put a Bangkok lemon in the ground here. So I'm going to try to approach graft this to that tree coming up here soon. I should have kept it in a pot to approach graft it, but live and you learn. But the idea is to get rid of that and put the Bangkok lemon here, which I'm going to show you my neighbors. It's a wonderful variety. It's not an easy peel, but it has a great flavor, and it's a harder jackfruit. Here I have another Boca Chompa doc that somebody gave me. And it was getting bigger, but I was so dissatisfied last year with the one I tasted, I decided to cut that one back. But then I decided to let it grow again. I think this one's a seedling as well. We'll find out. All right, so in this yard, I have one more jackfruit to show you. Then we're going to go to Mango Land and see what's growing over there. You see all the other fruits are doing amazing. The white sapote is rocking. Mangoes are Every day they're getting bigger and bigger and looking more beautiful. Everything's coming along great. This one here, that tree, that tree is a black gold. So I went ahead and I got another black gold tree. It was three gallon and it's taken off. And the thing about the black gold is it's a soft variety. I like this soft variety. I had one in my other house and I thought it was a black gold or at least it was a soft variety that was sweet. So I'm hoping that's the one it was. And this tree's taken off, nothing on there yet, but it's really becoming a big tree there. You know, until I made this, I'm making this video, I didn't realize how many varieties of jackfruit I have. It's pretty amazing. Uh, but we're in my front yard now here. Then we'll go over to Mango Land and then over to my neighbors. But check this out. I was at a local international market and I got a really good jackfruit. So I put it there and it's on water and it's growing really well. No idea what type of jackfruit it was, but I took the seeds 
and it's growing nice. Now it's sharing a spot with my jujube tree that I just cut back, but it seemed to have grown right in the middle of the jujube tree. And maybe it was trying to get a baby up there, that right there, baby jackfruit. So we'll see, that'll be a surprise. Then over here, this is kind of an experiment area. I have, this was another seedling of that same jackfruit and I have no water on this at all. And it's here, it's surviving. So, and then finally, with the last spot I had in my front yard, I put a seedling of a china jackfruit right here. And you see, I have two of them. I'm gonna cut back the one that's not the most vigorous and it's purely gonna be that one, but that's a seedling jackfruit. And the reason why I planted this here is I don't have a wide space. And with seedlings, they tend to grow up, but not wide. They stay pretty skinny for the most part. So that's there. So now we're gonna go walk over to Mangoland and check that out and see what jackfruits we got going on there. But then I gotta show you my neighbor's massive Bangkok lemon. Okay, we are in mango land now, and I'm gonna show you the jackfruit trees that I have here. Uh, definitely too much jackfruit that a person would need for one person. Uh, I am, number one, going to just keep the best ones, and if they're all the best, again, you could freeze jackfruit, you could freeze bananas, and you could freeze mangoes. You know, you could even freeze uh, mame. So those trees, uh, you could get more fruit, and people always say, oh, what do you do with all your mangoes? Do you eat? How do you eat that all m much? I don't sell my mangoes as of now, maybe in the future, but all I know is that I still don't get enough mangoes because I want them to last throughout the year, so I freeze them. Hopefully that'll be the same thing with jackfruit. So let me show you the several jackfruits I have here in Mangoland. All right, so this variety, I want the smaller varieties up front here. And jackfruit's supposedly a good tree to put up front because a lot of people, at least in this area, don't know what it is. So they're not going to be taking it as opposed to having a mango tree up front. But this is a lemon gold jackfruit that I got from Laura Farms. I was looking for dwarfed jackfruits. Now there's one more I didn't get that I want. It's called Banana Crunch. Banana Crunch, laurafarmsmiami.com. That's the one more that I want. But this one is a dwarf tree, lemon gold. And it's not supposed to be a soft peel. I believe it's hard, hard flesh. But right now you can see we already got some action there. We got four, five, five growing there for the first time. So this tree, as you can see, I got this post here. I had to cut it back because in the wind it fell. So it appears to be growing almost like a seedling, which is going straight up, but it is a grafted tree. It's called lemon gold. I haven't tasted it yet, but from what I understand, the fruit is on the smaller side and tastes great. And the tree doesn't get too big. Okay, so at the same time that I purchased that tree, I got this tree here to put up front as well. And figuring out where to put all these trees was, uh, a lot of fun, <laughs> I'll put it that way. But this here is a Cochan, a Cochan. And this I hear great things about. I believe it's an easy peel. I know it's a dwarf jackfruit tree and even a dwarf tree can grow 10, 15 feet or more. Uh, this one wasn't looking great, but I finally got water on them. I finally got water installed. So it's looking much better. I planted this one the same time as the Lemon gold I just showed you, so you can see it's much smaller. As of now, they both didn't have water for a long time. So that's Cochan dwarf jackfruit. Now, here in Mango Land, I had a whole bunch of mango trees that I'm excited about. But I had a mango tree here, uh, dwarf Hawaiian, that wasn't looking too great. So I took it out and I had this spot available and I ended up putting, you guessed it, another China jackfruit. China jackfruit. 
amazing fruit. Amazing. So that'll grow real nice here eventually. If the bananas get in the way, I can remove and put and replace the bananas somewhere else. But that's gonna grow there. Now I have this tree which is on a close pretty close to it. Uh, that uh, it was a seedling that I converted to an ice cream, but I'm okay parting with that if I have to. On the other side of that is a honey kiss. I'm not okay parting with that, but I can hopefully make the jackfruit tree grow the way I want. But that's another China jackfruit. Now we're going to go to my neighbors and I'm going to show you what he has growing on. All right, this is the, the gold mine. This is the best tree that we have here between my neighbor and I, in my opinion. This is a Bangkok lemon jackfruit, loaded, loaded, Bangkok lemon, a wonderful tree to have. And let me take a closer look and show you this. He planted this about eight years ago. He has two jackfruit trees left here, but every year there must be 50 jackfruits on this tree at least. They're big, they taste great. They're not that easy to peel, that's the only negative part, but they're so worth it. Look at that. At this point of the season, that's how many are on there already. We've done a, a several reviews with this. You come all the way out here to the tree and right there you can see that. So that's another jackfruit tree he has. That one was an Excalibur Red. Not impressed with the flavor on that at all. Now I've had other people tell me Excalibur Red was wonderful. I'm not impressed with that flavor at all. But with this tree, it's interesting because they grow at the trunk, at the base. Like after a couple of years after he put this in there, there were a ton here at the base and it's still doing that. Uh, Excalibur Red. So there's always fruit on here. But, and it's funny because in the years past, I never liked the fruit and then I'll cut the last one down and it's pretty amazing. If everyone tasted like that, this tree would be great, but I don't know why, but it's not the case. Now, but this here, look at the Bangkok lemon. Wow. Loaded this tree. Look, it's it's still spring. It's not even, look, at, look how big this is. That's going to be 50 pound jackfruit right there. And there's so many on this tree. And we see the base of the, look, look, this is all over here. All right, everybody, that's the jackfruit situation here right now. And I'm very pleased where we're at. Now, it didn't start that way. I've had some jackfruit trees die on me. I've moved some jackfruit trees around. I've had jackfruit trees that I threw the seeds on the tree and they grew up and I let them grow. And... It's all a learning experience, folks, but uh, jackfruit's definitely a great tree to have. And as you can see, I love the China jackfruit the most, but I love jackfruit. A good ripe jackfruit, soft or hard, they're absolutely excellent. And I want to encourage you all to get one and hopefully something I said helped. I'm going to put the link below to laurafarmsmiami.com, but the, all the other nurseries I go to, they have a good variety of jackfruits as well. And I, I, I can't name them all here, but there's a good variety of jackfruits. If you're up in the West Palm area, I know in Loxahatchee, there's Zane's World. That's where I got that Zane's World uh, soft jackfruit that I really like, that seedling. I'll put their link below. Uh, Love Nursery, Jack and the Beanstalk Nursery, incredible edible landscaping. They all have uh, jackfruits as well. Uh, so... Grab uh, a chiner if you find one. They're not easy to come by. The Banana Crunch, that one I'm looking forward to. Uh, I'm going to get. And, and yeah, it's a wonderful, exciting time to harvest different fruits and do different things. Uh, here is a fruit I'm about to harvest right now. This is a pomegranate. Really excited. So until then, everybody. Have a great day. Put your comments or questions below. If you're locally here and you're growing some fruit and you'd like me to come out and feature you on a channel and your yard on the channel, we help each other. My contact information below. Until then, everybody, have a great day and keep growing.